how that could be enabled. Yeah, I'm usually terrible at providing an example, but uh, for this talk, I'll try to provide a good one. And that is, uh, how do we do what we're talking about, which is do uh, open source science uh, in a way that works for theoretical investigation. Because what we're basically talking about is putting a brain online. I mean, this theoretical science happens mostly in our heads. So how do you best put a brain online? Uh, one thing that maps very well with that, actually, is a widget. So if you can manage to upload yourself to the web, um, these days you have to do it with fingers. But uh, what you're actually looking at right here is my brain online, which happens to look like a slide. But actually you're looking at a web page, which is at deferentialgeometry.org. Oops, that's a little low. Um, I'll collapse this one. If you go to that web page, um, it's actually a wiki. So these are uh, my welcome slide describing what this wiki is. And what's actually on here is my physics notes and my research notes as I create them in theoretical physics. These are the last two I haven't looked on. I've uh, been working on a super connection and spin foam in physics, trying to uh, increase my knowledge of these. And I'll fill up the slides in my wiki as I explore these areas and gather references and follow them. But what happens when you do this is a wiki sort of mirrors the way uh, humans think about these things because you. You learn the basics, and then you build on them, and you build on them again, and if you're trying to build up further, you build on what you already know. So you sort of build up your knowledge this way. And Wiki is a great way of doing this and presenting it to others so others can do it. So, so now if, uh, say, someone encounters my uh, paper online, they can follow a link back to a Wiki, and then that Wiki displays information on the paper that's much more uh, accessible to somebody who's trying to figure out what's going on. Because over and over again, I'll be reading a paper, and there's some term or some variable to find, and I won't know what that it is. And I'll have to page through into the paper, and it's like, well, no, that's not even in this paper, but they refer to some other reference. Yeah, track that time. This goes on forever. But in a wiki, it's really cool, because even if I'm exploring some new area, uh, this microphone's kind of on, so maybe I should speak more softly. But say you're going to talk about uh, I'm investigating a super connection and figuring out what that is. Well, a part of the super connection is a connection. So I just click here, bring up another, uh, that brings up that note there, and talks about what a connection is. And a connection is made of a bunch of parts that all operate and are mathematically well defined. And one of them is a one form, so you can bring up a page on a one form that talks about what that is. And uh, these things are all definitions going back and back, and a one form is something that works on tangent vectors. You can bring that up and I'll describe what a, what a tangent vector is. Maybe shoot the text down so you can see it better. So there's a, a short blurb on how a tangent vector is defined. Now this makes this makes authoring kind of different because you actually have to put a lot of thought on how these concepts are connected. So it's very different than the usual way of authoring a, a paper or a book, where you're thinking about what's the best way to segue from one issue to another and how do I order them and all that. But a wiki is not order. A wiki is, if anything, hierarchical, but you can even have links that break the hierarchy. And it's, it's very useful as far as uh, to learning from. So, um, since I do my scientific research in this open way, uh, it's it's been actually kind of valuable to students who are just trying to figure out math online. I've gotten most of the email I get in reference to this wiki is from students saying, "Thanks, I, I learned this, and, and thanks, thanks for putting this up there. It's been, it's been really great to get feedback, feedback like that." But uh, but for me personally, it's very useful to have this one centralized. Um, recording of my notes in, in one spot, and it's uh, it's just wonderful to work off of and, and build off of. What so, can you add in terms of the peer review or any other stuff? <laughs> yes, I, uh, if anybody wants to uh, spend time playing around on this uh, on this website, um, let's see. Uh, well, I'm just trying to convince you that it, you are looking at a web page. Uh, All right, so there's the URL. Um, uh, yeah, so there's actually a bounty. If anybody, there's a few hundred pages here, most of it is equations. If anybody finds uh, three minus signs that are wrong, let me know and I'll pay a hundred bucks. That's a bounty on the FQXI website. Can I get hundred bucks by asking if this is a problem or a <laughs> why a definition is not different? Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I, I really love mathematics. Yeah. I, I like exploring the mathematics that are relevant to the physical world. So it's the geometry, it's the 
mathematical geometry that I think is deferential to reality in the sense that it, it defers to what really exists. So there should be some kind of exclamation mark on it. It's a pun. I, uh, I'll either. No, I shouldn't even apologize. Well, you're giving me the answer. Okay, so um, I guess I should field questions on it. I just had a very short demo, and that's it. Uh, any other questions on? Actually, you're right. The yeah. math is gorgeously formatted. Yeah. It's a totally technical, trivial question. Technical, I mean, I'm, 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 this, this guy uh, made this beautiful package for explaining math on the internet called JS Math. JS Math? Yep. Um, uh, JS and then Math. Math or Math? JS Math.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 some general questions that might relate to things that might split off in the separate And of course, any time, feel free to approach me and talk to me about this stuff. I'm a great nerdy and geek, and so I love talking about it.